find that the limit as x approaches 0 from the right, or from a positive direction, of ln cos 3x over ln cos 2x. Right, so if we just consider, if we start with the cos and then consider the, the log bit uh, just afterwards, let's consider what's happening as, as x is approaching 0 from the right hand side. So as x approaches 0 from the right hand side, well 3x is still going to be approaching 0, um, is still going to be approaching 0, so cos 3x if you think about basically cos of 0, you know approaches 1. So ln of cos 3x, well it's, remember it's the power you raise e to to get 1. So you know that you need to raise e to the power of 0, so that approaches 0. And in the same way, that's, it's not going to be any different for the rest, so I'm not going to write the rest up. So I'm just going to, in shortened form, as x approaches 0 from the right-hand side, ln of cos 2x also approaches 0 for exactly the same reasons, using exactly the same uh, reasoning. So that means the lim as x approaches 0 from the right-hand side of ln cos 3x over ln of cos 2x has indeterminate form indeterminate form and in this case it's 0 over 0 so one option when we have indeterminate form is to use L'Hopital's rule we will use uh, L'Hopital's rule and just thinking about why we can do this well both that log function at around zero obviously if you have negative problem problems if you think around zero approaching from the right hand side you've got some um, positive inputs going into that log so it's nice and, and continuous there, differentiable there. So it's no problem. It's, it's probably going to work. It might not work straight away, but it will get to where it wants. So we will use L'Hopital's rule. L'Hopital's rule says that the limit as x approaches 0 from the right-hand side of the original, um, the original quotient is the limit as x approaches 0 from the right-hand side of the quotient of the derivatives. So now we have lim as x approaches 0 from the right hand side of ln cos 3x over ln of cos 2x well that is going to equal the lim as x approaches 0 from the right hand side of so we need to differentiate both of these now hopefully you remember that the derivative um, of ln of f of x is f dashed x over f of x. So if I'll just write that up here. So if um, y equals ln of f of x dy by dx equals f dashed x over f of x. It's not in your formula book that, but it's really, really handy. It will save you so much time and working space. Um, the alternative would be to use a chain rule and if you think about it, the way these are you, you could end up using like a double chain rule on the top and the bottom it's if you need to do it then you need to do it but it does take up a lot of space and space actually is, is quite precious on exam papers for, for a reason that I will never understand okay so this limit well we need to get the f dashed x over f of x so for the numerator um, f of x is cos 3x, so if we use a sort of shortcut chain rule, our f dashed x, we'll think the de derivative of cos x with respect to x is uh, minus sine x. So the derivative of cos 3x, well you're going to have a minus sine 3x and then you need to pull the, the 3 out as well, so it's going to be minus 3 sine 3x. So you're going to have minus 3 sine 
3x. That's your f dashed x, and we still need the over f of x. f of x is just the cos 3x. And that's just the top. We need to do the same on the other side, so in exactly the same way, you're going to have minus 2 sine 2x over cos 2x. Minus 2 sine 2x over cos 2x. So now we've got a bit of work to do. So you have got one fraction divided by another. Remember, when you're dividing by a fraction, you can multiply it by the reciprocal. So that should make things a bit easier. So now we have the limit of, so you're going to have minus 3 sine 3x three over cos 3x times, and then it's going to be times cos 2x over at minus 2 sine 2x like that right so now a natural next step would be to um, just move this around a bit we're going to put the cosses with the cosses and the sines with the sines so now that's going to be equals the limb as x approaches zero from the right hand side of well if you look you've got these two minus signs which I can just disappear get rid of the minuses I, I also think it's a good idea to um, put the three and the two if we put those with the cos uh, functions for reasons that should become apparent very very quickly so I'm going to say this equals the limit as x approaches 0 from the right hand side of sine 3x over sine 2x times and this is going to be 3 cos 2x over uh, 2 cos 3x okay so if we just look at um, this function, the cos function. Remember, we've got the limit of the products, can be the products of the limits according to the limit loss. So if we just look at this bit, well, we've already sort of done quite a lot of the work in here. So as, as x approaches zero from the right hand side, well, 2x is still going to be approaching zero. Cos 2x is going to be approaching one, so 3, three cos 2x is going to approach three. Um, if you look at the bottom, you're going to have as, as x approaches 0, 3x will approach 0, cos 3x will approach 1, 2 cos 3x will approach 2. So all of this just becomes um, 3 over 2. So now you've just got to deal with this sine bit, which has the indeterminate form. So equals lim as x approaches 0 from the right hand side of sine 3x over sine 2x times 3 over 2. So we're getting closer, but what you will find is if you think about sine, well, we know that as x approaches 0, 3x and 2x will both be approaching 0, and actually the sines of those will be approaching 0. So again, this particular limit has indeterminate form 0 over 0. zero over zero so now we have a choice you could either um, wrestle it into um, you, could, you could use the fundamental trigonometric limit on it and multiply it by sort of uh, fractions that you could get a sine 3x over 3x and a 2x over sine 2x you can do that and try and use it like that or what we can do is attempt to use L'Hopital's rule again, given that this, this lesson is on L'Hopital's rule, that is what we're going to do. Right, so now to deal with this, we're going to use L'Hopital's rule again on this sine uh, limit. So we're going to differentiate both of those. So now we have equals the lim as x approaches zero from the right hand side of. So we're going to have to differentiate sine 3x with respect to x. If you think about it, well, sine x goes to cos x, sine 3x would go to 3 cos 3x. 3 cos 3x over, it's just the same at the bottom, very similar, it's just going to go to 2 cos 2x. And then we've got times the uh, 3 over 2 that we had before. So now, in exactly the same way as we talked about before, as uh, x 
approach is zero from the right hand side, 3x approach is zero as well, so cos 3x approach is one and 3 cos 3x approach is three. If you look, I'm not gonna do the whole thing for the bottom because I've already done it. Also as x approaches zero from the right hand side, two cos two x is going to approach two for exactly the same reasons you've just got different numbers. So now we have the limb as x approaches zero from the right hand side of ln uh, cos 3x over ln cos 2x equals, well, we've just said that this was going to be 3. On the bottom, we've got 2. So you've got 3 over 2 from this times the 3 over 2 that we had before. 3 times 3 is 9 and 2 times 2 is 4. As I was saying, what you could have done from here, you could have looked to wrestle this into using the fundamental trigonometric limit, which would have got you the same answer. But I think this is probably marginally quicker because writing all of this was possibly a bit of an overkill on my part. 